years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble. It's a Wednesday night, and uh, we'll be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. If you're listening to us uh, live, you can hear that. We're probably live. Well, we could be recorded. Eh, who knows? Anyway, hey, listen. You know, every now and then we get somebody new to talk to us, and. Uh, uh, a lot of times we like to go back and find people we haven't talked to in a long, long time, and that's the particular situation in this case, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to a person who I haven't talked to. How long has it been, Steve Kravitz? Oh, uh, what, 20 years maybe? 20 years? Maybe more? Maybe more. Let's see here. When was the last time you did my show in San Francisco? Well, uh, it had to be 85. 85, and I left 85? No. Well, that's that's what I remember is the last time I was living in San Francisco because that's when I was a finalist in the competition. Right. So 85, uh, I left in 97. Uh, was it that early? Gosh. I, I, you know, Alex. The thing is, is in the early '80s in San Francisco. Uh oh, uh oh, we lost him, folks. Let me go back and call him again. Uh, let me see what happened. Yeah. I don't know what happened, Alex. Yeah, I don't know what happened. No. It, it just you just. I was still. You, it, it just uh, don't move. <laughs> Did you move? I, I haven't. Really? Alex, I have not moved. Wow. I'm actually in my pajamas on the couch. Oh, okay. Well, I'll fix this up in post, you know. Uh, but, right. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Where were we? So I was saying that in the 80s, that was the beginning of the comedy boom. Late 70s, early 80s, right? Yeah, comedy boom and in really, San Francisco, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I really believe that our group, the group that ended up playing with you on the air mm -hmm. with probably the best and the closest comics, you know, as a group that I've ever encountered. Oh, yes. Yeah. Although they say that Boston had a pretty good scene. Well, what it was, Alex, it's kind of like San Francisco, you went to L.A. Mm -hmm. after you learned the craft, and, right. and in Boston, you went to New York. Right. Right. They were the two feeder cities. Right. But although... Believe it or not, Boston fed San Francisco quite quite a bit. I mean, we got people like Tom Kenny and Bob Goldthwait, uh, right, who came right. out from there. Uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? The comic who just died. Uh, see, my mind's comic going. That, huh? Comic that just died. Yeah, yeah. Or a couple of years ago, maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, Kevin Meany. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Jesus, and 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 Warren Thomas. Warren Thomas. Well, Warren Thomas didn't come from Boston, but Meany did. No, 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 not yeah. at all. Yeah, Meany did. Not at all. Uh, we lost. He, he came from another planet. <laughs> what? How many people did we did we, have we lost out of that group? Oh, you know, I, not not to guess. I would say probably maybe a third. Are dead? A lot of them are dead. You, you got to remember, Alex. We're all old. seniors now. Yeah, you're right. You're right. How old are you now? I'm not telling. Thanks for asking. Well, you were a kid when I met you. Well, I'm 63 now. Okay. Well, that's not bad because I'm 79, going on 80, pal. Good for you. God bless you. Everybody says that. Good for you. What do you mean? All I had to do was keep breathing. It was no great talent. Well, some, you know. some people don't do that. Some people choose not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you're right? St you're still just as funny as you were. I love the voice. I love the timing. So listen, you, you kind of, if I can bring this up, you kind of disappeared. 
you know? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't yeah. until you, I think, showed up on my radar here that I knew even where to get a hold of you. Right. What happened? Right. I, 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 I got very sick for a long time. Yeah. You say very sick. You know? How do you describe very sick? Um, just in the past year, I've had four surgeries. Oh, jeez. On my fr- on what? <laughs> On my brain. No, 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 no. Uh, my stomach. I had uh, gallbladder removed, and I had gallstones. Yeah. And a stent put in. I had that done like three times. Yeah. What? Just a pain in the ass. And, and, and um, I don't know if you know this, but the medical profession, God bless them, well, they gave me neuropathy in both my feet and my hands. I have neuropathy in my feet, but it's just because I got a spine condition at this point, you know? Right. Yeah. And mine was medically induced. Oh, boy. I know a guy who we have on the show regularly. It wasn't his paralysis was medically induced. He went in for an operation. He came out basically a cripple, you know? Right. Do we use that? To me, it was um, was psych meds, and it was I was over medicated and under monitored, and I had a psychotic break. Oh, wow. Wow. And I spent. I spent two and a half months in the hospital. When was that? 2012. 2012. At, at, at two, two months, you say, in the hospital. Now, was this bedridden hospital or was this uh, slightly crazy hospital? No, oh, more than slightly crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part, Alex, is I was in there for two and a half months. For the first two months, yeah. I had no idea where I was, why I was there, and who I was. Wow. Wow. You know how scary it is to look in the mirror and not know who's looking back? I have no idea about that. I, I Many times I've looked in the mirror and wished someone else were there, but, <laughs> you know. Preferably a blonde. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, geez almighty. You you really went through it. Well, you, but the thing that when I'm saying you disappeared, it seems like one day you just disappeared. I mean that you you just went off the radar, off the comedy radar. Right. It was after after I shot uh, a series for Sci-Fi in '99 that my illness got worse. And, you know what and, I mean? I really wasn't able to work. When you're saying illness, it was a mental thing, right? Yes, yes. I'm bipolar. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, well, first of all, Alex, I was diagnosed as manic depressant when I was like 17. Okay. And then apparently some movie star got it, and we all became bipolar. Oh, I'm okay. Not sure. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that better than monopolar? I, uh, you know what? <laughs> I think that's just called depressed. <laughs> So are you still in San Francisco? No, no, no. I'm in New York City. I've been living in New York City for, God, since uh, 2004. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good but, for you. Yeah, well, good for me. Again, you know, it's like breathing. I mean, it, it's nothing I had to do. It was something that happened. You know, I decided to come right, out here right. because some people remembered who I was. And I got hired to go to work at Sirius XM, and then after almost 10 years, they fired me. So, you know. Uh, yeah, but you're used to that. I'm used to that. And, you know, at my age, you got to get used to getting fired because uh, nobody wants uh, old people, right? No, no shit. You know, no shit. It's like we're completely, completely thrown off the radar. Now, here's the thing. So you, you were bipolar, and... It, it affect you were you were doing movies. You had gone in. You had matriculated in the movies. You were in, uh, for instance, we were so happy for you. You were in uh, a Clint Eastwood film, Sudden. Right. What was it called? Sudden. Sudden Impact. Sudden Impact. If you look at the group of bad guys, he's one of them. He's the punk looking kid. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, so you were doing, and you were in Howard the Duck. Right. Which you know and a lot I was of. In- Woman in Red and Mr. Saturday Night and The Animal and The Hot Chick and yeah. multiple others. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, tell them the story about The Lady in Red, because you say you did The Lady in Red, and you did do The Lady in Red, but you weren't in The Lady in Red, right? That's correct. I actually never got in front of the camera. 
Really? I was in my dressing room mm -hmm. smoking a doobie. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready for your big scene. My big scene, and I was supposed to shoot like a, a, like noon on a Monday. They didn't get to me till like 4 on a Wednesday, and then they just said, we're not going to shoot that scene. And tell them what happened in the aftermath. Well, they put me in the in the, in the credits, so I keep getting residual checks. <laughs> you didn't. You I, gotta love show business, Alex. You gotta love it. I thought you had shot the scene. My meant remembrance was, and they cut it out. But now I do remember you telling us you didn't even film anything. And then we no. go to the movie Lady in Red, and there in the credits, if anybody ever sees Lady in Red, there's Steve Kravitz. Right, 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 right. Well, and 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 uh, Mr. Saturday Night. Yeah, which they was took my that, MTV spot. Okay, so you did something on MTV, and then they they bought that, and then you were in the clip in Mister Saturday Night, which was a thing about comedy that Billy Crystal did, right. right? And Billy Crystal is sitting in his living room watching TV. Yeah, and I come on, and he says, "This guy's not dressed for comedy; he's dressed for a felony." <laughs> And then he invited me to the rap party, which said, the invite said, you and another genius are invited to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So did you go to the party? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you and, had, and Crystal couldn't have been nicer to me. Yeah. Well, you, you had a movie career going, okay? Yeah. And you had a comedy career going. And I got to tell you something. Right. I, I, I am... I'm serious when I say this. I don't know how sick you've been. I don't know how many operations you've had, whether they've removed every part of your body except for your brain. But I do know this. You're very funny right now. Thank you. you Thank know? you very much. And, and I think that is very important. But, you know, psychologically, what kind of place are you in? I mean, uh well, I, I, Alex, I'll tell you, well, in, in April, I weighed 115 pounds. Now, you're a short guy, so 115 right. pounds, I want to tell people on... No, I look like a concentration camp victim. Okay, all right, okay. And now I'm up to 150. Yeah, okay. So I'm healthy, I'm, he I'm healthy as I can be, I take my meds, and I'm ready to go back to work. Yeah. First thing i got to do is I, I'm, I'm, I'm going up to Jokesters tonight in Vegas... You know, I live in Boulder City. Boulder City population, population twelve hundred. Yes, uh, and and most of them are inside the dam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> twelve hundred, and apparently I am the entire Jewish population in Boulder City. Wait a minute, let me explain Boulder City to people because this uh, Boulder City was a city that never existed and then was built one day to house the people who were building. Boulder Dam, which then became right, Hoover exactly. Dam, and I think it's back. Is it back to Boulder Dam again? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, how did uh, of all the places to wind up? How did you wind up in Boulder, Nevada, Boulder City, Nevada? Well, first of all, I needed to increase the Jewish population. Mm -hmm, that's good. Second of all, <laughs> second, no, second of all, um, Pearl had followed Carla Bow here. Yeah. And, and LeBeau, you know, showed him around and whatnot, and then Pearl asked me to come out. He said there was a good stand-up scene going on here, and that's why I moved here. Plus, rent was really cheap. And, you know, I can, when I was living in L.A., you know, it was a studio apartment. Now I can at least say, Alex, I'll be in the other room. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. But now, uh, Bold, you say you went there for comedy. Nobody thinks Boulder City is the town of comedy. It's not really Boulder no, City that's I'm, the town I'm, of comedy. I'm, I'm, but but near you right. is what? I'm, I'm, well, I'm 20 minutes from Vegas. Yeah, but the other city. Well, uh, Henderson? Uh, no. No. The the one where they have the... Uh, the uh, 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 they have a bunch of casinos, a lot of casinos. And they tried to make it oh, into... Oh, Laughlin. Laughlin. So was yeah. was that where Pearl was going to play? No, Pearl, was, but Pearl lives in Vegas. Yeah, I know Pearl lives in Vegas because we talk right, to him and, every couple and, of weeks. And, and him and Carl live in the same apartment building. Oh, okay. All right. I see. But so, so. You, you came out there and you wound up in Boulder. So Right, because of the, the rent. Okay. So You know, I was paying, in L.A., I was paying $800 for a studio here I'm paying seven fifty for a two bedroom. 
Okay. Okay. Really good. But right. th- then again, it's Boulder, Colorado. Uh, it's Boulder City, Nevada, which yeah, is, I joke on it too. Well, the jo- the joke is it may not be the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there. Yeah, you know. yeah. Uh, Take a left at the dam. Exactly. So anyway, so. but you you went into this period where you know you were doing nothing. You, you suddenly you would get, become bipolar, right? No, I, I've I've been. Had some mental issues uh-huh. my whole life. Yeah. So I was diagnosed at 17 and then re diagnosed later on. Mm hmm. And so, so first I was diagnosed, like I said, as manic depressive and then I was bipolar. Did, did, this, did this kind of paralyze you so that you found it difficult to work? No. Are, are you there? I think we lost him again. Uh, let me see. There we go. It's re- reconnect. And it's not like I'm on stage nervous. Well, but no, well let's let, let's go back a little bit because we lost you and it reconnected with you. I don't know what the problem is today with Skype, but anyway, uh, back up just a little bit. It, 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 I asked you. I think that it, it, it seemed to paralyze you in doing comedy, and you said, "Are you there?" No. Yeah. Uh, you said. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, I, I don't do it a lot, but now and again, I think. Yeah. No, I, I, did it paralyze me from doing stand-up? Yeah. No, it, what it paralyzed me from doing is actually like getting in gear and getting to the club. I see. Okay. You know, and a lot of the clubs here don't open till 1030. And the other night I was going to go drop in the club, and, you know, I took a shower and got in my pajamas and went to bed. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I, the image of that is, uh, you know. Yeah. Is, is yeah. Kind That'll of, be blinding. Yeah. Yeah. So so I've got to tell you something, Stephen. You were one of those comics that I said, he's going to do okay. He's really funny, you know. Right. And, Thank you. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden, you were doing the movies, and all of a sudden, you just kind of disappeared. You went off the off the radar. At least my radar. Yeah, but you know, Alex, there was there was two 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 things that culminated in me going off the radar. Mm-hmm. One was my drug addiction, mm-hmm. and the other was my mental illness. Yeah, you know, I I needed to stop worrying about making people laugh and making me laugh, or making taking care of me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And and as you know, you drop out for a year. It's almost impossible to reboot well it, 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 it isn't so much that you have the inability to reboot but the business has the inability to reboot right you right, know right. i mean and, oh. and the other thing you know it'd be nice to get a a new manager a new agent or something somebody who take care of the footwork yeah yeah but, you know all i have to do is show up and tell people they're morons and get my paycheck and go home yeah because I mean, I I would imagine, I don't know what your act is today, but if it's anything like it was, you were terrific. You were really good, Thank you. Stephen. You know, and I, that's why yeah. I had you on the show all the time. You never had to. You were one of those people who never had to even call me to say you were going to drop by. You would just drop in. You know, you were you were. Do you, do you realize, Alex? Do you realize how much pressure comics were under when they did your show the first time? Oh, the first time's got to be got to be hell until they got there and found out that there was no pressure on them. I never put right, pressure right. on comics. You know, you can no, come. No, can, and 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 the the audience was just genius. But I'll tell you why you were good on my show, and 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 I'll tell you the difference between people who were good on my show and terrible on my show. The comedians who were I'll first tell you who were terrible on my show were the people who came on and then just started spouting material. In other words, they listen to you say one word like cat, and they go, I had a cat once. I remember cats. Cats, blah, 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 blah. Right, 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 uh, right I hated right. that because that wasn't what the show was about. What I liked were comics who were fast enough on their feet that they just simply were conversant. And in their conversation, they were funny. You get what I'm saying? Right. And you were yes, always exactly fu- you, you were funny if you just opened your mouth and said hello because number one you had a great <laughs> you had a great voice for radio because it was a character. 
And, right. and you just, you know, the, the people I liked were the people who just went with the flow. And, if, it, it, of course, the first time you go on there, you're terrified. But if you realize all you have to do is be you, you know, the funny right. part of you, that's all I care right. about, you know. Right, right, right. But like you said about the people with material, that'd be like I'd be on the road and I've had lunch with, like, my opening act. And he's spouting material. And it's like, dude, I don't want to hear your material. You know, if you want to do material, go sit there somewhere else. I don't want to hear about it. Well, comedians, though, you got to admit, comedians are constantly testing material, even in private they conversation. Have to. Yeah, they have nowhere else. You know, if they try it out in the clubs and it bombs, uh, uh, they're never going back to that club again. Right? Right. Or that joke, anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, how do you, where do you where do you where do you put your life right now? I mean, are you trying to sneak back into comedy through a back door somewhere? I am. What I would ideally like is to do you know one week a month mm -hmm. just to make my nut, you know, and do a couple of films. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't you know. know that, I, that's what. I, you know, I don't, you know, I've done two with Rob Schneider. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping to do a third one. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I can just call him up and say, are you shooting anything? And do you have anything for me? Yeah. Okay. Because Rob, yeah. Rob was one of us. Right. You know, he was a San, exactly. he was a San Francisco guy. And, uh, right. Uh, the, the, well, let me, let me tell you, Alex, this is, uh, you know, I knew Rob when he first started, when he was like 16 or something. Mm-hmm. And then I ran into him at Candlestick, not Candlestick, uh, Giants Park, whatever the hell it's called this week. Yeah. You know, and he came up to me, gave me a big hug, and he said, you know, you were the only one who helped me when I was young, and I want to give back. I'm yeah. doing a film, and I want you to be in it. And that's how it started. He, you know, a lot of people, there's a tendency for people to put down Rob, okay? I don't know why, but they do. I mean, on, sa on uh, Family Guy, he's a joke. You know, when you right. want to talk about comic, there's a bad comic on right now. It's Rob Schneider. <laughs> right, right, I, right. I get or, or he's grouped with Polly Shore. Yeah. I I get very defense, defensive about that. I'm very protective about him because, quite frankly, the Rob Schneider I know is a perfectly stand-up guy. Oh, and, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And the other thing is, you know, he's great when he does the sidekick when he does the lead in a film not so much but when he's the sidekick he's great oh yeah yeah he's terrific and he and he did a show for uh, netflix and it was i thought very very good uh, yeah i watched a stand-up set of his and i thought it was great yeah so i mean i it, people do not diss our pal Rob Schneider, because he's paid back. Whoa. He's paid back to a lot of people. He hired you for movies. He hired Bob Rubin. These are people that most of this audience doesn't even know. He hired Bob Rubin for his movies. You know, he paid back uh, to all the people that he knew back in the San Francisco days. He didn't just right. disappear and go, oh, I'm on Saturday Night Live now. Fuck you. You know, right. and I, I appreciate that about him. You know, whatever his politics no, he, are or whatever, I don't care. He's a good guy. No. He's always been a good guy to me, and the other, the, I had lunch with him before I left L.A., and, you know, he's just a regular guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know? He's terrific. He's terrific. But, you know, I'll tell you, know, you and something. And he's the only one who's given I mean, you know, Jim Carrey used to sleep on my floor yeah. in L.A., and did I ever get anything? No. You know, you know who did pay me back? Really strange. Uh, uh, years ago, uh, a friend of mine, there was a comedy competition, brought in a woman who had come in from out of town to be in the competition and brought her by my show. Not to be on the show, but just to watch the show. This was when I was at the Quake. Watch the madness. That was this when I was at the Quake. So she sat there, and uh, I was introduced to her, and she says, uh, Alex, this is my friend Roseanne. And she's a comic. And I look at her and I see this fat woman from Utah, you know. And right. I, I, uh, I, I couldn't see how she was funny. You know, I mean, because she, and when I talked to her, she wasn't particularly funny. You know what I'm saying? So I never had her on the show, but uh, I took a liking to her. 
and she was starving right. and she was hungry. She was sleeping on, in, in, uh, in the van owned by the amazing Jonathan hmm. on, on the floor. And, and so my friend Gail put her up in her place, and I took her out to breakfast every morning and fed her, okay? Uh, so she'd right. have a good meal to start the day. And for, right, for a right. good week, uh, she was my guest at breakfast. So that was it. A couple of years later, I'm over at the uh, over at Live 105, and I get a call from uh, an agent down in Hollywood who says, Roseanne and Tom want to do your show. I said, okay. Wow. Uh, well, uh, and um, she came in with Tom and did the show. And she was a big star at that time. And she said to me during a break, she said, you know why I'm doing this? I said, why? She said, because you were so good to me. You know, and I thought that was wonderful. And it was it was somebody paying back what they felt right. was what they had to pay back. And I, I appreciated that about her. A few, about two yeah. years later, I get a hold of her to see if she'll be on my show. And the call I get back is, she doesn't know who you are. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. I mean, she went crazy, too, you know. So. Right, right, right. But I, I don't think she was ever medicated. Yeah, that probably, probably. So what's in the future for you? I really, you know, I listen to you now, and it's like you haven't missed a beat in 25 years, 35 years. What is it? You said 1985, so that would be 85, 95, 30, 30, 30, 30 let's say 35 years. You haven't missed a beat. You sound the same. You have the same character. Well, so do you, Alex. It's just our voices. We're you, not looking at the wrinkled faces that we've become. You know what you'd be perfect for? Cartoons. Oh, well, I would love to. You know, because you, you, you know that the voiceover world is very close-knit. Of course. Very small. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I don't know if you know Maurice LaMarche. I know the name, Yes. Yeah, and he works probably five days a week, you know, all, 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 all day long, and he's one of the inner circles of voice people. Well, Tom Kenny is, too, who's right. SpongeBob right. SquarePants. Tom the only one who, who was transferred to uh, the movies for SpongePants, Bob, or whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, um, uh, I just, you know, you sound great, and you're funny. You're still funny. You're funny off the cuff. Uh, I just think you should be working, you know. But unfortunately, we're well, also old. Be my agent. Be my agent. Oh yeah, be your agent. You know, I wouldn't know where. Yeah, to, we'll be. I couldn't we'll be, be an you agent. You and you too. Yeah, but you see, I couldn't even be an agent for me. That's how bad I would be as an agent. You know. No, me too. Uh, me too. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm talent. I have no idea about anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're terrific, Stephen, and I really, you know, this is like this is like old home week for me. I gotta say, yeah, you. yeah, we gotta do this again. Yeah, Alex. let's we gotta do. do this I'll again. give you a call in a couple of weeks, and we'll we'll uh, do it once again, uh, Steve. All right, man. Stephen hey, Kravitz. I love you. Stephen Kravitz. We love you too, Stephen. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, that's Steve Kravitz. We love Steve. We, uh, Steve, I have not talked to Stephen in, oh, God, I don't know how long, 30 years, something. I, 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 he disappeared off the scene in San Francisco, and I don't know what the hell happened to him until now, and we caught up with him, and I, I still think he's a funny guy. I mean, he has a great, he has a funny voice, and uh, that's what works so well on my show in San Francisco is that if you got a funny voice, you know, that, uh, that's all, it, uh, all you need to have. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to get enough volume going out of here, and I've got to turn on the uh, Skype lines. Uh, and I didn't do the show again last night. I guess I, you know, I, I kind of like doing this three days a week, but I'm not going to... St- yet say that it's only going to be three days a week. So I won't know till next week how I feel about this, okay? All right. Anyway, hide ad. What they have ads now uh, on uh, Skype, and you got to go hide them. (laughs) That's ridiculous. 
Anyway, uh, it's time for you to start calling, folks. Time for you to uh, give me a, a ringy dingy. Uh, we'll see if there's anybody out there tonight. Let's see. We have Jeff's in Europe. Uh, who knows? Phil may have his uh, his uh, uh, thing with the uh, with the with the f photography club. Uh, so I don't know if there's anybody out there to call. And if we don't get people, then that's fine because I'll then end the show early and go to go do other stuff. You know, I got I got things to watch and things to do, and uh, you know. Uh, but uh, we'll wait and see if anybody decides to call the program today, okay? Uh, if you don't know how to call the program, go over to gabnet.net, and that uh, has a whole tutorial over on the right-hand side of the uh, web page on how to, how to do this. Uh, let me see here. Oh, boy. I, um, wh what was it that happened to me this morning? I woke up at like 7 o'clock with the world's worst stomach ache. I had eaten. We had bought some... Uh, we didn't bought. We like to buy this shrimp salad at Costco, and um, we hope that you know it. It works good, you know, and it tastes good. And this didn't taste good. <laughs> okay, folks. Hey, guess who's here? First up, I guess. Uh, I guess uh, Phil didn't have uh, his uh, um, his what his photo club tonight or whatever. It's the first and third Wednesdays. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll have to put that down on my calendar, Phil. <laughs> yeah, uh, first and third. Let me see here. Let me go scuba diver. Come on. I'm trying to get scuba diver on there. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. Let me see here. Let me do my little transition. And there we go. It's the first person on our, uh, on our uh, what do you call it, on our... Uh, panel. Citizen panel. panel. What do we call it? Uh, citizen panel. Yeah. I don't do the show for one night and I forget everything. Well, and it's a good thing to forget. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but uh, you know, uh, you're, uh, I heard your interview with Kravitz. Mm -hmm. And the first time you ever got mad at me, which, you know, you've continued to do for a long time. Yeah. Well, you're easy uh, to get mad at. Yeah, well. Yeah. Was was over Kravitz. Uh, I, I showed up at the Holy City Zoo, and Kravitz, at the time, I had just finished the short stint that I did helping you out at Camel because you needed to go on vacation and you needed somebody to produce your show. She so trained me, and I helped the guys that would come in. Yeah. So, anyway, Kravitz says, Oh, can you get me on Alex's show? And, you know, he, he was kind of really aggressive. And so, uh, and I could see maybe he was bipolar then too, but, uh, I, you know, my standard thing is when I don't want to say something to anybody is I say, well, let me see what I can do. Mm -hmm. And so the next day he shows up at the studio and he says, Phil said I could be on the show. I didn't say that, but you, you said you called me up and you said, Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, so uh, yeah, that was that was the first time you got mad at me. <laughs> well, aggressiveness is is something that we we kind of take for granted with comics, you know, with yeah. people in show business. I mean, that they're they're out to make it, and the way they make it is by being aggressive. You know. Now, remember, you were still, I think, at Camel, or you just went to the next station. Uh, it, it, you were probably still at Camel. And so he, you know, he was, uh, he was pretty aggressive, but, uh, you know, he might've also been a little off his kilter. Well, it could be, it could be, yeah. but you know, I mean, he was, uh, he was a great guest on the show. Yeah. It, it, boy, these the damn lights are, are blinking again in here. They didn't do it yeah. over the weekend. They just do it on the weekdays. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, that's they take the weekends off. I give up. You know, uh, this yeah. is this is getting ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what you get for living in a 119 year old building. The, you know, the lights are going to uh, be an issue. The person two buildings over turns their lights on, and yours are going to flicker. Yeah, I guess. I guess yeah. mine are going to flicker. So yeah. I don't know if anybody else is going to call. If it's just going to be you and I. No, uh, we've done that before. We have done that before, haven't we, Phil? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, the, the last time I remember, and it was a lot of fun, was when we were stuck in Sausalito for a week or four days. 
and uh, you had to do the show from your uh, kitchen table. Yes. And uh, I was your only guest. God, it's hot in here on top of everything, and the temperature outside is only seven is 70 degrees, and yet it's yeah. hot in the studio. It's well, hot maybe in the, it's 79. No, it's you're starting to get hot flashes. It's humid in the whole apartment. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, that, that that's that's New York. Uh, you know, they got bugs well, the size well, of I'm uh, Volkswagen. I'm sick and tired of it, Phil. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of it, you know? I just want some nice, cool weather. We had it for a couple of days. We had some nice days here. Is All this the first day of fall? I think or the second? I think, I think yesterday was the first day. Yesterday? Day, two days ago. Was it 23rd or is it 21st? I can't I, remember. I, I don't know. I don't but, uh, you I don't know, care. that means... It doesn't matter. It still feels like it's summer, so fuck it. Well, know? enjoy it while you got it, because pretty yeah. soon it's going to be freezing. And uh, well, you know, I, you know something. I uh, oddly enough, I like freezing better than I like heat. I well, really you'll do. have an excuse for not well, going you, outside. Well, you see, the thing is, <laughs> you when it gets really hot, you can't take off enough clothes, all right, to yeah. be cool. Yeah. But you can put up en on enough clothes to keep warm when it's cold. Yeah. All right. Well, it's coming. You know. Uh, yeah. When? Uh, I another was uh, this is. Uh, Almost October. Yeah, it should, so it should already be getting November. cool. It should yeah, already... maybe another 30, 45 days. It should be getting, oh, oh really? No. Oh, November, it's going to be cold, and, uh, you know, the leaves are turning uh, pretty soon the in New York. Are, the leaves are already turning. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the things I miss uh, about being in California mm -hmm. is you, you don't see those, uh, those beautiful fall colors. Y y y well, you know, I've... I, I barely have seen them ever, you know. I've never been yeah. upstate at the time that that was happening. And there are a couple of days, just a couple of days, when they're just right. ripe, you know, and the whole yeah. countryside is, is ablaze. I saw the beginning of it when I was in Vermont. We yeah. were up in Vermont about this time of the year, and it was starting to happen. You could start seeing the, the leaves turning this, this orange. Uh, but it hadn't yet gotten to the point where the whole countryside would look like it was on fire, you know. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, yeah. Well, Vermont has uh, – it's, it's more rural than uh, the parts of New York that are adjacent to the city. Yeah. Where I grew up, which was maybe an hour north uh, yeah. driving, uh, you know, up to Taconic or uh, that area, that, that, that's gorgeous too. And, mm -hmm. and the, and the uh, leaves change. Yeah. Uh, if you if you take the Taconic. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so, so I, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've never been able to uh, see, actually see the leaves turn. And I really, you know, cause I got to rent a car and I got to get in the car and I got to go to the state. And, then, you know. and I, I, you know, I, I think I've been in New York so long now without yeah. leaving it that I don't know where the exits are anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and now in the, in the park. Uh, you know, do you is there vegetation there that turns? Oh, oh yeah, it turns, but it's not like when you're upstate and you've got miles upon miles upon miles, yeah. about hundreds of miles of of just uh, uh, you know meadows, the colors, and, the fall colors, the fall colors. Yeah. yeah. So here, I mean, you get the trees do change. They cough a little, but they change. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, well. I, I used to uh, I used to make a joke about you know New York is uh, we have wild we have wildlife here we have pigeons who cough you can hear them coughing you know yeah uh, well, but but we don't have that bad air here anymore no no no, no. it's uh, it's because New York uh, you know and and many parts of the country Los Angeles for instance mm -hmm. I remember 30 35 years ago if you were in Los Angeles you couldn't see the mountains. Uh, it was so full of smog. Uh, now it's just full of junkies, but you know it's not smoggy anymore. Right. And right. And, yeah. Uh, you know, it's the same with most uh, most of the major cities. Yeah. You know, we in the United States we've done a really good job of cleaning up uh, our uh, major cities, and uh, Los Angeles was a bowl uh, mm -hmm. because the way the mountains were set up, it would trap. Uh, the, the the smog, mm -hmm. and uh, you couldn't you couldn't see 
you couldn't see anything. You had no idea where you were. Where are you talking, was, where are you ta where are you talking about? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yeah. yeah. Los Angeles. Well, Los Angeles had a problem because it's, it's in a basin. That's right. It and, was in a bowl. And, and so, yeah. And so the smog got trapped in the basin. Right. That's right. Um, uh, uh, so uh, I used to refer to it as the L.A. toilet bowl. Yeah. You know. Well, it's not that way anymore. They've cleared. And well, I mean, all that has happened because we have become more efficient with uh, pollution, with doing away yeah. with pollution. You know, and uh, I like these hybrid cars. Uh, you know, I don't like the fact that when you get into it, you can't hear the engine roar. Uh, well, no, but it, it doesn't have to do as much with that as the fact that we've also put emission standards on cars. You know. Yeah. And and and. and uh, that has cost us a lot of money because it, it's not as gas efficient as the stuff without the smog, you know. Well, in, in California, they're having a uh, an issue over the fact that California has different gas emission standards than the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. Not only do they have to make a special uh, There's gas. There's a special blend out there, yeah. Fe special blend, yeah. but uh, California requires auto manufacturers to uh, to make their cars specific to California mm -hmm. and, and their standards. Uh, well, there's so nothing wrong with that because you can breathe. You yeah, know? although I mean, the, federal, uh, the federal standards are saying uh, if, uh, if California is asking for a second standard, which is, makes their car, our cars more expensive in California and, and it's more difficult for the auto manufacturers, uh, they're saying there should only be one standard, the federal standard. Well, yeah. I, I would disagree with that because you also have different areas with different amounts of usage of automobiles. For instance, California, you have much more use of automobiles than you do elsewhere in the country. What about you New know? York? Uh, New York? I No. I, what? I don't own a car. I don't, I don't know people who own cars here. Yeah, but the streets are totally clogged with they're cars. Clog, what they're clogged with yeah. is uh, cabs, yeah. Ubers, Lyfts. Did you uh, notice that the Ubers, trucks. a lot of them, uh, or the cabs, a lot of them are Priuses now? Uh, yes, I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. or, you know, or, it used to be or, checker or hybrids. cabs. Or hybrids. Yeah, hybrid, yeah. Uh, yeah, some sort of hybrid. Oh, checker cabs don't exist anymore. Yeah, but they were cool. Oh, well, they were cool because they lasted 20 years on the roads in, in New York City. I mean, they were, they were built like a tank. You know, they had these water-filled bumpers. And I and I said, you really? know, when my I, daughter yeah. started to drive. I wanted a checker cab for her with the water-filled bumpers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes right. sense. Yeah. You know, yeah, sure. Well, uh, I'm the one that needs it. Uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. I was on my way to Ray Renati's play, mm -hmm. and I got rear-ended. Well, you told and us about that when well, this last Sunday. Su yeah, Sunday the fifteenth. The fifteenth. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't you tell us a story already? You told us the story Possibly. already. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. But no, uh, you know, I wish I had one of no, those. No, but bumpers. it was not last weekend that you went, but the weekend. It was the before. weekend before. Yeah, right. you told us about that. Yeah. Yeah. You got rear-ended. So. Yeah. Has it been well, fixed? Well, no. Uh, I haven't even gotten the report number yet. Uh, the CHP officer calls me up. Yeah. And says, "I got to take a picture of the of the damage." <laughs> I said, I got a picture. I'll send it to you. you see, <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, yeah. <coughs> Went down the wrong way. It's that pollution in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he says, I got to take a picture of the damage. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, look, I got a picture. He says, no, no, no. I got to take it. I said, well, I could go. Now, I got hit in Hayward. And now, <coughs> you know, Hayward is uh, maybe an hour from uh, Walnut Creek during mm -hmm. commute hour. And so uh, I had a... He wanted to see me at 3 o'clock today. Mm -hmm. I had to drive all the way to Hayward, take the picture, took 30 seconds, and I left. And then it was another hour to get home. Uh, I said, why can't I just go to the local CHP office in Martinez? He says, no, 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 we got to do it. So they don't have a case number yet. All he's given me is a, is a card. And he says, now, if you want the case number, uh, just use this number and pay $8.00. And we'll get you a copy of the report. <laughs> You'll see the case number. Oh, boy. And, and who the guy was that caused the accident, the Uber driver, mm -hmm. so that um, 
I could get a hold of his insurance company. Otherwise, I got to pay five hundred dollars to my insurance company. Nothing's easy anymore. By the way, folks, we need some callers here. This is ridiculous. Okay, I yeah. don't know why we don't have callers tonight. Maybe you're mad at me because I wasn't on last night. You know? No, no, no. They, they, they just. They're mad about Stephen Kravitz, you know. Well, they haven't had him Stephen. on in 35 years. I haven't had him on in 35 <laughs> years, and they, they, they okay, yeah. they're protesting yeah. that. All right. What, that he hasn't been on in 35 years, or that Or that I you had him on. Had him on after 35 years. Years. years, yeah. You did the world a favor, and now yeah. all of a sudden Kravitz is on. A anyway, but, uh, we need some callers, folks, here. Otherwise, I'm going to call this thing off early tonight. Yeah. I mean, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't need this. You know, and yeah. I'm surprised because. I'll go to the low-hanging fruit. This this was a bad day for Democrats. You know, uh, they 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 decide that they're going to uh, uh, make a, a a cause for impeachment before they even get the facts. You know, and also just remember, maybe people will call if I go for the low-hanging fruit. Uh, but the Democrats have egg on their face again, and they're it's like. They're in another world. They they don't they don't they're they're going to continue to push this conversation, regardless of the facts. You know? You're absolutely right, Phil. Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, oh really? <laughs> You're absolutely right, Phil. T maybe maybe you, that'll Tulsi. get them to call. <laughs> Tulsi Gabbard. She said that uh, Pelosi bowing to. Uh, the people that want to impeach uh, under any terms, mm -hmm. uh, she's just caved. But I think Pelosi's actually smarter than that. What she's done is she hasn't done anything but uh, created a, um, uh, a face-saving moment for her mm -hmm. uh, because they were already doing what they called a formal uh, impeachment investigation. Mm -hmm. And in order to have an impeachment, you have to have a vote. Well, there's been no vote. So nothing's changed since the announcement from Nadler. But Pelosi making this announcement, uh, you know, she was in the news cycle and mm -hmm. uh, it appeased her, the base. But uh, really, nothing's happened. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, uh, I'm bored by it all. You know, I'm getting really bored by it. I think that uh, I, I just, you know, I just, uh, when I listen to places like all the networks ginning this story up one mm -hmm. way or the other, no matter which way they want to want to balance it, um, I think in, uh, impeachment of the president of the United States at this point is a useless exercise because we've only got about a year before there's an election. Okay. Right. You didn't even want to impeach the governor of California. When I remember you talking about that, when yeah. uh, Schwarzenegger won, uh, prior to that, we had a, a governor. There was some issues over uh, pre-purchasing uh, electricity. Well, I, you see, I, I've been against, in many cases, against impeachment for this reason. Uh, yes, I think there are definite reasons to impeach this president, okay? You and I could argue that, but uh, I think there are definite reasons I think he has uh, he's he's betrayed our democracy. Okay, but that that being putting that aside, uh, 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 impeaching him now is is not going to serve any useful purpose. What would serve a useful purpose is to put all your eggs in the basket of trying to get a, a Democrat elected president of the United States, and and letting that be your form of impeachment. I well, would say if this were two years ago, yes, okay, go for it. But it's it's getting too close to the election, you know. So. Even if they do impeach, it's a Peric victory. Uh, you know, there, there's not uh, nothing's going to happen and nothing's going to come of it except it's going to energize the Republican base. There are some people who are believing that if it does go to the Senate, he might lose. Uh, I think only Mitt Romney. It depends. No, it de no. It depends on the amount of evidence that's presented, and if it's uh, irrefutable evidence. Uh, I think that the. I think there's a lot that's been going on that is not very good. Okay, Gabbard, and I think Gabbard, I, hmm? uh, Tulsi Gabbard said yesterday that, or was it yesterday or this morning, that uh, based on the transcript mm -hmm. of the conversation, that. 
it doesn't rise to the uh, to to impeachment. And to the uh, level to the level of impeachment. To the level of impeachment. Yeah. And uh, and she's right. You know, there's really there's really nothing there. Now, what I'm missing in this whole conversation is did Biden was bragging at the uh, Council on Foreign Relations back mm. in 2018 of how he withheld one point two billion dollars from the Ukraine if they didn't fire the uh, prosecutor that was looking into his son's uh, case in, in, under a corruption investigation. That is, a, that is an allegation that has not been proven and not been found to be fact, Phil. Well, then... You're, you're, you're simply, you're simply for, using Republican and Fox News talking points. These uh, are not... I heard him say it. On, they have a video of him at the CARE, which is the Council on Foreign Relations, mm -hmm. and he's being interviewed, and he said that verbatim. He said, and when, when the Ukraine people, uh, uh, the negotiators said to him, well, you know, uh, pres the president, uh, President Obama said that they're going to uh, give, uh, give us the money. Uh, he says, I'm out of here in six hours unless you do this, unless you fire that guy. And, and by the way, so the guy says, well, I'll call the president. He says, the president's the one that told me to do this. It is, it is so black and so, so black and white. Phil, I'm not, I'm not believing what you're saying. Black. Well, I <laughs> okay. saw the, the video. Uh, no, it, uh, next time I see it, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah. send me the video. Is this Biden? Yeah, I, is I, Biden, I, Biden saying this? Biden, and, 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 he, and he used an expletive uh, that got beeped out uh, mm -hmm. uh, during the video. And he, you know, uh, like he says, you know, I, I told those bums the way it's going to be. <laughs> he was bragging. Uh, mm -hmm. If you didn't see that video, I, I'd be very I surprised. I didn't Did you see, see the video. It? You didn't see the Biden video of him no. bragging no. at the Council on Foreign no. Relations? No. Let's see if I can find it. Hey, yeah, Tony. By the here. way, you're frozen, Phil. I am? Yeah. Turn off your camera and turn it it's back. It's hot on. here. You know. I'm cold. My air <laughs> yeah. conditioner is blowing cold. I got to yeah, turn it off. bragging. Uh, okay. Yeah. Off. And then on. On. Okay. And but better? Now, now it's fine. No. Right. Now you're frozen. Oh, no. Now you're okay now. Yeah. All right. I wish I was frozen. It's hot here. Yeah, uh, that is crazy. But you know, I, I don't give a shit about any of this. I, you know, I think that forget about what Biden did. Because why? Wait a minute. Why? Because he's not president of the United States, and he did not. He call was it. the VP. It doesn't matter. He's At not VP time. anymore. This man but is president of the United States, and basically, there was an a a, a, a roundabout way of saying. Hey, if you don't go after, if you go after this, we may help you get the money. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Biden at care. Well, maybe I got to <laughs> spell it out. Council on Foreign Relations. Uh, Are they going to try to impeach him then, or no? I, didn't, I was trying to follow that story. Then. It's it's well, much to do it, about it, nothing. Well, it's not much to do about nothing. I think there will be an impeachment vote. I think that's going to happen. Um, so it's not much ado about nothing. Uh, uh, it looks to me like uh, uh, Trump is panicked. He's got the, he's in panic mode. Uh, because he came out and gave that speech today. I caught a little bit of it. It looked like he was trying to like, I don't know, like he was trying to pass himself off. Like I don't know. Here's a question though: How did that come? How did they get him? Did they get him on t tape? I mean, how did that come out the phone call? No. To begin with, to begin with, what you saw today, the transcript. Uh, which is not a recording. It's a transcript. And it is not a transcript verbatim of the call. It is a recollection, uh, a extemporaneous recollection of what went on in the call by various people who were involved in listening in on the call. So there, it's not word for word what went on. So it's it's not exactly. So he gave the idea it was going to be a transcript, a, a absolute transcript of the call, but it's an extemporaneous transcript rather than a real word for word. This is the way it was transcript. I'm surprised nobody recorded it. Uh, that, yeah, well, I, that's I, the I way they do it. it. I was hearing the story leak. I said, oh wow, they, this is unbelievable. They have several people who take notes during these conversations. That's that's the way. Yeah, they but do I'm it. surprised they didn't record it. 
you know. Oh, okay. You know. Uh, I think I found it. I mean, you're speaking with another country, you're right. You would think that would be... Where, where did you, first of all... ...of their own past. Something I know intimately from my time trying to negotiate in Northern Ireland. But this deals with uh, countries like South Africa. Wait a minute. Uh, but also the United States. Given our own uh, complicated uh, legacy as well as Russia, China, and others, I really urge people to look at it just one step beyond. Well, let me yeah, get to the uh, thing where you... Yeah, well, get, I, I don't want to hear the whole goddamn system. thing, Phil. <laughs> Yeah, it's an hour. Uh, oh, well, why don't you go find it, and then we'll get back yeah. to you, okay? And, you know, that'll keep him quiet for a while. Uh, keep yeah. him busy. Joe's in the middle. Uh, yeah, we're being joined here by, uh, let me see here, by Ray Renati. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. the lights blinked again in here. People can, are watching Did me. Did you know Phil was in the audience that night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, can I just say something about Biden in that, t in that video? Yeah, Did sure. you hear the video? Sure. Okay. Yes, I did. I watched it. Okay, uh, and, I, and I looked into it, and the thing, here's the deal. That thing is taken completely out of context. Biden was uh, the head of an international group that had decided that that guy in the Ukraine was so corrupt that he had to go, and Biden had been appointed by the group to be the one to head that up. It's not like Biden went out there to try to do something for his son and all that BS. Say that uh, again. His son say, happened to be on the board of one of the companies. Wait a minute. Say that again, though, about okay. what was said yeah. in there. Okay. The, 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 I think it was a prosecutor in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. He was, he was uh, extremely corrupt, and he was causing a lot of problems. And Biden was the head of an international group of world leaders who was uh, appointed to go and give this news to the Ukraine about that guy. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Biden was doing some kind of personal bidding or anything like that. But if you listen to the video, but was he vice? Presented. Was he vice president at the time? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, but he but but he was not acting alone or anything like that. It was all out in the open. It was part of a an international consortium to decide to get rid of this guy, and mm -hmm. they had to get Ukraine to get rid of this guy because he was causing all kinds of problems. Okay. All right. So it wasn't it wasn't that he was trying well, to do some kind of uh, yeah, underhanded thing for his son and all this stuff that people are saying. And his son was just a member, was just on the board of one of these companies. He wasn't And, like and received $50,000 a month salary. But that has, has nothing to do with Biden. With, with, with Biden this, was, this didn't go out doing it. If you can't see the connection here, but I'm Biden very was, surprised. Who got 50 grand? What, what connection? Okay, so Biden, Biden didn't, Biden didn't, Biden was chosen by other people to do this. Yeah, he was the chosen one. Okay, you don't believe uh, it. All right, no, fine. No, you're, making, okay. you, you're, you're uh, sloughing I, it off, I Phil. Go. I can't talk when, when this happens. No, stay, when, when stay around. Stay, going on. No, stay well, around. When there's, just, when there's just lies going on, I can't stand it. You well, know, when there's just, just like... You can't stand no, it, I disagree. You're assuming. You. No, because you're assuming. No, it's that you're assuming? disagreeing with the fact. Uh, okay, Don't I'm going to send Bill. it to Alex, but it's it's 59 minutes. Well, I'm not going to watch 59 minutes. minutes of a fucking... All right, well, I, I'll find it another time. I can't find it now. Well, yeah, I mean, apparently, I got the, I got the whole, maybe you can't find thing. it. Maybe you can't find it because it doesn't exist. Yeah, no, it, it does exists. exist. I saw it, too. I saw it. It exists. Yeah. Now, what did he say in this snippet that, I, uh, that you, I'm that i talking you're about? You're frozen again, he, Phil. What, what did he... Oh, what, really? Yeah. What... what but uh, what did he say, uh, Ray, when he said, I'm going to withhold the $1.2 billion in aid uh, until you fire the guy and you got six hours? No, it was an interview. It was an interview after the whole thing happened and he was recounting the story of what he had to do. Okay. So it was 50 minutes? Uh, That's 50 what minutes? I saw. That's what I saw. All right. He was, tell he was telling a story in an interview of what they had to do with the Ukraine. But oh, it wasn't like oh, he, I'm sure, he Phil, if you went online somewhere, you can you could send it to me later. You could find just that portion. I'm sure somebody yeah, like I'll, Fox I'll has it or somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. Uh, yeah. yeah, where did yeah. you see it? Uh, you know, I, I can't remember exactly. It, right. it was it was it was I can I, it's in my history. Uh, OK, but wait, wait, let, let me let me get the the context here because it's it's eluding me. Uh, Biden was relating what exactly his his when he had to, when he uh when the, when they decided to withhold uh money mm -hmm. for the ukraine mm -hmm. like trump 
-hmm. but it wasn't but but it was part of an international group that Biden was the spokesperson for yeah uh and uh and, and, and so they it, did but, that but he was he was vice that, that the or he was, would get wait, rid of this guy yeah he was vice president am i Why? wrong phil yes how am i wrong uh, because he was the vice president representing the United States at that meeting, and he pressured uh, 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 another country to fire somebody who now the impropriety right. the impropriety is is that his son was on the uh, board of that company making buku money with no experience. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No you're but you're taking that, that you're taking that out of context to begin with, Phil. Because what you're saying, what we're saying here is, is that this thing happened and it existed. But if you listen to the current head of the uh, of the Ukraine, whatever his name is, he said that particular guy was corrupt. And it was known United to be States. that prosecutor was known to be corrupt, and that's the reason why they got rid of him. Not necessarily. He was doing an investigation on corruption, and Biden wanted him out. That's a lot of I people heard. wanted him out. That's the head of the read. head of the Ukraine said they the the government wanted him out. Now, isn't it odd that they would exactly. pick Biden to be the messenger of this uh, of this firing? when his son is involved with it, I think that shows, you know, he should have recused himself. I don't himself know that his son was involved with it. Oh, his son involved? Was, no, his to son was, wait, no, his son was part of a company that was being prosecuted by this prosecutor who was considered to be, uh, what can we call, corrupt. And yeah. the energy company uh, started with a B. It was yeah. owned by an well, oligarch. Anyway, I, we're, we're going around and around on wow. something that doesn't yeah. matter because what we're talking about now is a president of the United States yeah. uh, attempting to influence another country uh, to make a potential candidate of his look bad. Okay. Uh, uh, forget no, forget about what. Forget about Biden. Biden may not even be the nominee of the party. Okay. We're talking about the president of the United States, cause doing a uh, 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 an action which is at the very least self-serving. Well, I think you got blinders on because it's very important. I don't to have understand. blinders on, Phil. But, but it goes back to the Russia investigation. They've accused Trump no. of colluding with the Russians. When all yeah, along, he colluded with the Obama Russians, and now he's and he, he colluded with the Russians, and now he's trying to collude with the Ukraine. Well, it's a pattern. Is a pattern here? It's, there's a pattern, but the pattern goes back to Obama Phil, and Phil, Biden. Phil, Phil, you know New York, don't you? Wait a minute, you lived in New York, right? Yeah. You, you know New York and the way they do business. You yeah. don't think fucking Trump acts like a mobster? Yeah. Like okay. Well, well it's like James Cagney. No, but that's not but an excuse. He may act like a mobster, but Joe Biden yeah. and Obama are mobsters. Kevin, Kevin has oh joined God. us. Ke Kevin, stay, stick around, Ray. Right. St don't get upset. All right. I mean, that's just like the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my life. Obama, Obama and Biden are mobsters. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Obama is a mobster. Oh, thank yeah, right. you very you know much. Obama, you, you know something? You wouldn't know class if it came and bit you in the ass. Do you know why Obama never said much and didn't have a lot of meetings? Because he was he was raping uh, and pillaging, and he oh, didn't want you to know about Raping and pillaging he's an what? An N-word. Yeah, raping and pillaging. He's an N-word. Oh, come on. Hmm. Oh, yes. okay, pull the end card. Wait a minute. Ke uh, Kevin's no, it's not the end card. It's the truth, Bill. Kevin's yeah. joined you us. You know it, man. You know it, No, no I, I don't care if he's black. Okay, he's okay. Yeah, right. Kevin, has, sure Kevin has joined us. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Alex. Yeah. Did you hear any of this stuff with uh, Biden and his whole whatever he had to do with the Ukraine? Yeah, I've been listening to it all day. Yeah. Kill you, ignorant slut. <laughs> uh, can you explain, Kevin, what I was talking about with the uh, when he was bragging at the Council on Foreign Relations about how he withheld the money and said if you don't fire No, I the didn't hear that part of it, but I sure heard Trump trying to drag the president of the Ukraine into his bullshit today, and I, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, wow. You know, the mobster thing was, is exactly what he was doing. You know, he was trying to pull pull the pull the, the president of the Ukraine into it and then and then sit there and go, you know, I, I hope you and your little country can work things out with the with the Russians and then sit back and say, I hope you work it out. 
That's you not know, true. Just left them hanging. No, what he said was uh, Obama gave him blankets he and basically uh, strong armed that guy him. and told him, just tell him what I told you to tell them in that press conference today. It was it was obvious as hell. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm looking he for scripted the... that whole damn thing today. Well, I, it I, looked so mob, it was ridiculous. In, unless, unless that interview was AI and it was totally bogus, you know how they make these uh, films and they have people saying stuff? You know, unless, it, unless that's what it was, uh, and I don't think it was, uh, Biden, in his own words and on camera, mm -hmm. uh, was bragging about doing exactly what they're accusing Trump of doing. And he did it while he was the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, vice president. Hmm. Uh, I don't think but he's exactly. Guy. Can I say one thing? I'm not going to. Can I say one thing to Phil? Yeah, this? sure. Sure. Let's, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, which I don't believe Obama is a mobster type at all. But let's just say him and Biden were acting like thugs, according to Phil, and they were doing bad things. Mm -hmm. So that makes it right for Trump to do bad things then? Does yeah, that make yeah, any that, sense? Well, like, that's what, no, that's but what, Trump didn't do anything bad. But you were comparing it to okay, how they I, were I think I found it. Uh, Try, go ahead, Trump's talk. trying to save the world. He's doing everything right. Well, I just don't figure it. was a perfect that. conversation. It was perfect. It was the most perfect conversation. It was a beautiful conversation. Did, 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 you, what, you, what hear me? did you hear me? No pressure. No pressure. It was perfect. It was beautiful. Yeah. What a freaking idiot. Yeah. He's an egomaniac. Phil is, I mean, Phil is going uh, crazy trying to prove his point, even though he can't find the segment that proves I, I, his point. I found it. I don't disagree okay. with what Let's Phil says that. is in the video. That is what is in the video, but you're not... But Okay. I'm not going to take it again. Contact. I mean, let's hear it then. If he has well, it. I, I, he's going to hold a, it up to a up to the screen, and we're going to try and hear the audio, and it's not going to uh, be. Uh, I'm going to try and send it to you, but uh, I can either oh. post it to my page, but I'm trying to send it to Messenger, and uh, that isn't one of the uh, one of the things. So let me go back a little and see what I can do. Yeah. Well. Anyway, um, uh, you know, I was almost not going to come on and talk. It's people said to me. Uh, wrote like what a day for alex not to do his show blah 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 oh, yeah, blah. Sure. you know yeah. and my aunt, my attitude was what a great day not to do my show <laughs> yeah no kidding you know i mean uh, i'm i'm so tired of this i'm exhausted by it you know uh it's it's it, and and i'm tired of hearing all the various news networks and that goes for the right wing news networks and the left wing news networks uh, 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 trying to constantly uh, uh, gin up this whole situation for ratings, you know. Um, I was listening to PBS today, and it was actually it was it was. A, I'm going to listen to them from now on. I mean, they they seem to be way more like regular news. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They, they don't seem to try to be biased. They actually are like trying to report stuff. <laughs> Somebody writes here that video Phil is taken out of context. Oh, and it's from Ray Renato. That was me. Yeah, I wrote it earlier before I came on. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you can just do the research. It yeah. wasn't like he. Whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I just, I just think that. Uh, and it doesn't matter because we're talking and, and, about and, and Trump. We're, and we're talking about Trump. We're talking about the president of the United States. We're not talking about a guy who's trying to be president of the United States, you know? And that's the important point to make here, that we're at talking about the behavior of a president in office doing business for the United States. There we go. You know, every time this air conditioner turns on and off, the lights dim. God, I can't believe it. Well, that's, that's yeah, you know pretty what? reasonable. Hmm? You know what really bothers me? Is what? that we just went through this whole Mueller report, and he and Mueller had to indict how many Russians and send them back because they were hacking our elections. He said it absolutely happened in the Mueller report. And then Trump meets with the Ukrainian guy and asks him to hack our elections again, just like he did with told them, told them to do with Hillary. I mean, it just blows my mind. And well, he's like, it's a perfect, you know, how, 
how can you get away with that shit? He can't let uh, sleeping dogs lie. In other words, he's got a hard on for for Obama. I have no idea why. I, I suspect it was the correspondence dinner, is the reason why he hates Obama. Okay, uh, and uh, it, it it was it's terrible. You know, I mean, it, it's terrible the way he doggedly has gone after an ex president, former pre. Current presidents don't go after former presidents that way. If, if they could disagree with everything they did, they let it lie and they go on. Like, for instance, Obama, not once when he was president did he go back and sully the record of George Bush for what he did in Iraq, okay? Never. Which he could have very Never. easily done, but you don't do that. It's just not proper. This guy, he looks upon Obama as the enemy. Obama can't do shit now. He can't get him elect. Uh, he can't get elected again. I mean, it's uh, Obama's on to other stuff now. Let sleeping dogs lie. Just because you got a hard on for the guy, because you've got a thin skin, and God knows, his thin his skin is so thin you can see through it. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, enough is enough. With he hates Biden because Biden was with Obama, and da ba da ba da ba. He might be as uh, he might be running against him, so he's playing the long game. You know, I don't know what. Who knows what he's going to do if Elizabeth Warren becomes the candidate? I guess we're back to the Pocahontas thing. Oh, you know. Oh, oh my well, God! I, I hope you know. Okay, Biden crazy. at least brought up stuff in the Senate and had bills passed. Uh, uh, Warren, what bills did she pass in the Senate uh, of any significance? I don't know, and, and, I, and I don't care. She hasn't. But she I don't hasn't care. Done anything. But I don't care. She, she's I don't, lied on her I don't applications care. for jobs. I don't care. She's running for president in the United States, and she's running on ideas, and she has some pretty damn good ideas so far as I'm concerned. You know, you're, 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 you're trying to divert the entire election into areas where it doesn't need to go at this point. Yeah, but you see, the Democrats have been doing that. They've done it with Kavanaugh, uh, or they tried to. They've marched a whole bunch of people up there. They tried just to do it again. Kavanaugh and now was guilty they're using sin. They're using this kind of diversion to try to discredit Trump. You know? No, Trump's doing enough to, you know, people would have nothing to go after Trump on if Trump wasn't acting in a highly illicit manner and using the presidency as a uh, what can we call it as a as a, as a bankable item okay wow. whatever happened we heard the tape of him telling cohen to pay off stormy daniels we have a copy of the check as when he was president of him paying off stormy daniels this is all campaign violation stuff whatever happened to that that's like completely illegal as are crimes whatever well, happened to that because most of those guys are in jail. Uh, you no, know, but you, Trump did it. He, he pays his bills. Oh, oh does he? Now, that's like does he? Yeah. Try when you say shit like that, like every time, Phil, like somebody gets like a truth out, Trump, you like have to tell a joke. Trump about is it, known it, like, as the real. biggest deadbeat right. in the business. Yeah, we know that. There were, a lot of people didn't get paid over the bankruptcy. You know, when people go bankrupt, they they, they not allowed. But to he pay goes bankrupt certain. every week. Well, he, he, he had a business. casino that went bankrupt, <laughs> huh? and uh, he had a casino that went bankrupt, and you know, not even Merv Griffin could make those. Why casinos is go. it this guy had to go to a foreign country to get money because he couldn't get a loan in the United States? If he's such a great businessman, well, I, the uh, Deutsche Bank does business in the United States. Yes, it's not yes, necessarily but, but a foreign you, country. You, but you could, a, a, a reputable person can go to Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Uh, any one of a number of financial Deutsche. institutions in this okay. country. He Ray, had... you're going you're gonna to hate this, Ray, but I don't Deutsche care. Bank <laughs> was giving away toasters. <laughs> really? Well, two pizza four pizza. Yeah. Yeah, he says, I always hey, make a joke. <laughs> I love toast. It's okay, Phil. I don't care, actually. <laughs> All right. I know I seem really upset, but I'm not. No, I, just, yeah, I, just, I, just, I just actually. Oh, by the way, I'm by like, the way, can I just. I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so tired of this. Let, Ray, me, let me just go there's... off. Let me go off, off topic yeah. for one second. Uh, Tony, clean your lens yeah. again. It's getting foggy again. 
I don't know How what the hell is. does that happen? I think maybe Closes he's. Are you nose. near the kitchen? Are I you hope near? I get a new computer. Are you no? Are you near the kitchen? Oh God! I'm in the living room. I'm in the dining room. Be, uh, because and this could be yours if the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Spit loogies at that thing? I'm just uh, wetting it a little bit. That's a loogie. I'm thinking the price is right now. I know it's that, and then let's make a deal. Come on down. Hey, he's dressed like a turnip. It's so weird. I never have to clean the cameras on my computers. No, How you're, you're, your, your computer, you have a very clean picture. So does all of you do. And now, oddly enough, so does so does Tony. Yeah, yeah so what is getting on, on that thing all the time? Well, sometimes if you're near a kitchen, a uh, lot of the, uh, I mean, you can. oils. Yeah. Steam yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know. I guess my camera looks fine, but I, you know, I never clean, particularly think to clean the lens. But then again, I'm not in a room that gets grease and everything. I, I okay. clean mine occasionally. Yeah, uh, me too. You know, I got this, I got this shit and I got this special tissue. I got that, Phil. You got that too. I got buddy, this too. We all, we all have it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. That's deodorant. <laughs> yeah. This is my iPhone. I'm on my iPhone. This thing's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, Alex yeah. has got an 11. He's uh, He's got his whole. Oh. I'm not buying the 11. No, I don't have I'm the 11. Not. Well, I don't have the 11. I thought you bought the 11. No, not yet. Oh, didn't you just buy the way, other night? By the way, let's just take a few moments out because we can get back to this. But oh, uh, in the last week or so, um, my life took a great turn for the better. Yes. Uh, I sent away back to uh, Amazon, and I had gone through two graphics cards that didn't work in my Mac Pro, because I heard you could put a graphic card in the Mac Pro, and then you could use Mojave and whatever. I sent away for another one that was recommended by Apple as one of the cards that they say work in the, in the, uh, in the Mac Pro uh, 2010. I installed the thing, boom, boots right up, I got a picture. All right. I upgraded it to Mojave, boom, I got Mojave in the machines, you know. Uh, the, the only thing is, there, after a couple of days, though, it, I have to reboot the machines. But uh, outside of that, it works. You know, so I just upgraded my Mac to Mojave too, and it seemed like it worked. Yeah, yeah, but yours could. These two thousand tens, you couldn't because the graphics card wasn't capable of it. But once you got uh, another graphic card that had what they called metal, um, you could do that. And I wasn't working with these others that I plugged in. I waited for an hour, and it never picture never came up. This one, all of a sudden, I turn her over and take a look, and the thing's booted up. Life is good, you know. Phil keeps sending me stuff. I, I, I finally I really I think like I that. sent you one that went through. Yeah. Let me let no, me see. No, here. It's, it's, what happened to Tony? Oh, there he is. He's cleaning his I monitor. Got, hmm? No, I, I and I got a cup of coffee. I, You're so I clear. sent you the wrong. Tony, I haven't seen you that clear in a long time. Yeah. Maybe. You're it. clearer now. Yeah. I gotta show you. That wallpaper is in high def. It is. Yeah. It's so tough, Alex. I, it's I love nice. that wallpaper. Uh, uh, Actually, I'm getting used to it now. Let me see here. You what? ought to take a picture of it. I only scream it, four times a day, not three. So, so, no so if I were to play this video of him bragging. I, I, it's it's not. It, it, I, I'm not getting it to play. Uh, I don't oh. understand why. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll try. I'll oh, try on, I thought you had it. I thought I did too. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, well, maybe it's just got a download. Video of bragging Biden taking uh, trading one billion in Ukraine aid for official firing. Uh, this looks like a still picture. Hmm. Um, maybe the uh, oh here here it must it, you got to go down a little bit, and uh, this is the foreign affairs thing. So yeah, I, I had to scroll down. Okay, yeah, well, there I'll, look at okay. It. I'll look at it okay. later, so Phil. Yeah, I have the video. I'll down. send it to you later, Phil. I have okay. it in my history, well, but I can't do it on the phone. Uh, oh, I, I finally found it, and I was uh, finally... You know, I'm, my fingers don't work anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm, losing, I'm losing my touch. I, I don't know if it's the phone. Mm -hmm. I, I 
t- I push buttons, they don't push. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to get the 11. But I want to stop working. I, I don't want to spend money. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Yeah. The 11, from what I can tell, the main thing is the camera is better. And I looked yeah. at it, and it has wide angle. It has uh, all kinds of cool yeah, stuff. But, it, like it had three but the rest of it is not. Yeah, it does. Look, look here, it here's what happens. With, the, the here's what happens with mm. all these phones now. Here comes Tim Cook. He's showing you. We, now let's look at the new iPhone 11. Okay. Uh, we got three cameras in there. Some people say old people will look at that camera and try to shave with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Looks uh, like a Norelco. It looks like a Norelco. <laughs> I yeah. saw it, yeah. Uh, but that uh, uh, it, it, it looks, uh, you know, I mean, what he did for 10 minutes was extol the virtues of the camera. I have never heard him once in the history of this camera in the last 10 years say, by the way, the audio from the phone calls is so clear now. Because it's not. Or you can get a better it signal. Sucks. Yeah. No, was, I mean, they yeah, quit was, selling them as phones years ago. They're selling them as a camera. Yeah. You know? And I'm sorry, I can buy it for $1,100. I can oh. buy a really nice Nikon. You know? You know, hey. the analog phones used to sound better when you were in good connection mm-hmm. than these phones. The, the iPhones sound horrible. What? What's I'm happening? Awesome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, and my iPhone sounds better when I use the headphones. When I try to listen through the speaker on the phone. I'll ah, tell I you, though. I got, I got to tell you, though. I have, like, I, I do calls on just phone only uh, with, like, Kravitz and, and, uh, and, and Bubs. And they don't sound like they're on the phone. They sound pretty, pretty clean, you know. And believe it or not, yeah, Bub still okay. Bub still has a flip phone. You know, he has a clamshell. Um, <laughs> I, w- I want to go back to one. I, I would be happy with this. This is a uh, Nextel. Yeah. Uh, the batteries lasted a lot. Oh yeah, it was, it was great. Well, here here is the mysterious <laughs> thing that's happened to me. Remember Mickey? When I tap Mickey, yeah. Mickey would tell oh, yeah. me what time it was. Doesn't happen Nothing, anymore. Right? Doesn't happen oh, anymore. It's, you know why? It's pissed that you got that new no. Alexa. No, I upgraded to the new OS, and oh. it's not working. Oh, no. oh Jesus. Uh, I read somewhere that the new 13 OS has a problem, and it said don't upgrade yet. Oh, I upgraded already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there'll be a fix out soon. The fix for what? They already got a fix already. They did uh, the 13.1 or something. 13.1 came they're... out yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. I often but, but, wait but, but when still, I see an upgrade. St- up still, and wait a this few this uh, <laughs> Mickey is not is not saying hello. You know, it's uh, 11:30. Good yeah. evening. That sucks. You know. So I mean, I'm sure they'll fix it eventually, but uh, it doesn't work on Marjorie's uh, Mickey. And it doesn't work on a friend of hers as Mickey. It apparently is something I had to do with the upgrade. So I called Apple, and they said they're going to call me tomorrow at three o'clock and tell me what they've found out. You know, <laughs> I know what they found out. It's not working it's on not, yours it, or Marjorie's. It, 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 no, it's not working. Period. I mean, it it can't be working on three different phones with three different accounts. And, and be anything but something in there. And it happened because we upgraded to the op- new operating system. They left something out, and you're the only person that cares about that. Uh, I know. Feature. I what? wish I could have heard that phone call. My Mickey is not working. Actually, <laughs> I, well, I got some, I'll tell you, I've been having, I've been dealing with, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, customer support on several levels. To begin with, May, I'm here to report and tell you that, Am- see, the lights just, did you see that, folks? Yeah, yeah, I saw like, that. You see what happened? And that's yeah. because the air conditioner changed its thing or whatever. But yet, the monitors and stuff don't go out. It's only well, the lights. So that's called a surge. And if you get a surge protector no, with a battery, no, that won't uh, no, affect your computer. No. It doesn't affect the computer at all anyway, Phil. That's what I was just saying. You get enough of a surge, it will. No, it, it, apparently it doesn't. The the the, the different the, circuit. The, the the no, they're all on the same circuit. Really? Yeah. 
It, mm -hmm. They don't dim, only the lights. Now, the lights are all LEDs. That's why. So that may have something to do with it. Because you know. LEDs will just, like, do that on the smallest, for the smallest reason, right? Mine do. Like, you know, if you have the slider ones. Kevin may know about this. On the motorcycle, I have a lot of LED stuff. I got LED blinkers. I got all sorts of LED stuff. Now, if you have LEDs, you need some sort of booster or some sort of thing on the uh, on the charging system that allows for a lot of LEDs. Are you familiar with that, Kevin? On at yeah, least on motorcycles. Yeah, the relay or some kind of a transformer that changes the the voltage or something to them. When you have a lot of them. You know, yeah. Some of these guys have them where it's underneath the bike and it lights up, and yeah, I don't, I don't have in, that. I've got some in my engine and uh, underneath the frame and stuff, yeah. Yeah, so you, you need some sort of additional thing. But I have a feeling it's that the LEDs can't take the power drain the way an incandescent bulb does. You know, an incandescent they, they bulb. Are, they are more sensitive to power surges. Yeah, that and could be the reason drops, why the lights, why the, the lights the are, power, yeah. why the lights are doing this, and maybe I should replace most of them with uh, just regular bulbs here. You know, well, motor oh, pretty motor soon motor. you won't be able to because the right. incandescents are going away. Right. Yeah. Well, the motorcycle batteries have very little. No, uh, but anyway, power, let me get power. back to what I yeah. was saying about uh, yeah. about about yeah. uh, customer support. Yeah. Amazon customer support used to be terrific. Okay, uh, no problem. We'll send you a new one. Just send this one back. Blah, 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 blah. And now you get somebody in the Philippines who doesn't understand what you're saying. Oh, I and and I went through some hellacious Amazon calls this week. Uh, and uh, I uh, I then had the same problem with Seagate. Seagate was even worse. Oh, God. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I was trying to get a, 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 a be able to return. In other words, I, I bought a, a, a for my raid unit. I bought a, a hard drive. Uh, drives. Hard drive. uh, what do they call those? Enterprise drives. You know, enterprise drive. And three of them out of the four have gone bad. I, I, two I don't of, know two of, why. Two of them I sent back to uh, Amazon. And after a lot of fighting and kicking and screaming, well, I didn't have to kick and scream on that that much, but they did return most of my money minus an $18 per drive restocking charge, something like that. Uh, weren't right. they under warranty? Huh? Weren't they under yes, warranty? Yeah, but they were some kind of restocking. I don't know what the thing was because... Otherwise, I would have had to go send them to, to Seagate. Seagate. So anyway, I decided on the third one, because I found it, to call Seagate. And they said, call us back in a few days, and we'll have an answer for you. And they called them back, and they say, yes. Now, and then I had to do a whole thing like, I've got to return it. I've got to fill this out. I've got to do that. It wasn't like, just send it back to us, and we'll send you another one. You know, it was it, it were all kinds of hoops I had to jump through. And the first couple of times I dealt with Seagate, I couldn't even understand the person I was talking to. You, you know, it's the culture that you know why Macy's is almost bankrupt or is bankrupt. And Nordstrom's is 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 Cause flourishing. If you didn't like something, you just took it back. Right. And yeah. the same with Costco. Uh, you know, uh, this this is uh, this is the kind of Costco. Way you I don't do have business. any problem though. Costco, I don't have any problem. I've taken yes. stuff back that was three years old, and they took it. Yeah, you know. uh, Costco's been great, and Amazon was great, but now they're getting so large. Uh, there's you well, know, no, here's, that... the, here's the people I had to deal with. See, when I had to deal with Amazon, I can't remember what the issue was, but it had something to do with these draw. Oh, it had to do with the graphics card. And I didn't, I got one answer one day and it wasn't satisfactory. So I called the next day. I got a different answer. Okay. Yeah. In other words, there were no consistent answers here. But finally, they. That's I, a training issue. I sent it back. Then I had a problem with, with Amazon because I had one. I sent it back. They replaced it with another one. Okay. They sent it back. You know, then I had to send that one back. Well, the other one was a replacement. There was zero charge on it. The other one was the one that I paid the money on, 
and blah, 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 blah. One thing led to another. I played hell getting my money back. Didn't Amazon fire customers a, a while back that were returning too much stuff? No. Do, do, you, do you remember? No. Yes. They, they actually got, canceled customers that were buying and returning, buying and returning. Not that you're doing anything that isn't uh, on the up and up. I was up, trying to get something but, that would work in my right, machine. But Amazon has has identified, it was like last year or a year and a half ago, they identified customers that were returning too much and they blacklisted them. Yeah, I don't think they've done that anymore. I mean, uh, certainly uh, over the last couple of weeks, they would have started blacklisting me because I returned uh, two hard drives and two... Uh, graphics boards but yeah. you know. i'm just wondering if your raid is is burning out these drives because i have a i have a raid and uh i've got five drives in it enterprise drives and uh i've never had any uh, the green lights are always on i've never had any any issue with it i had three go bad now they all came at the same time so they well, could, could all be the batch. same batch yeah yeah yeah. Only one uh, of them is still there. It's the same one. Yeah. You know. I, I ordered two, then I ordered uh, three. Uh, and I didn't put them in until I had all yeah, five. Well, yeah. Uh, yes, Ray. I, I used to work for NEC Information Systems, and I sold disk drives like mm -hmm. 30 years ago. Yeah. And uh, you would get bad batches, and they'd all be DOA, dead on arrival. Like ho a whole like like pallet of them. Yeah. 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 His and ran for a while. They yeah, but, but if there's while. like something wrong with, like if there's something wrong with a few in a batch, like they'll be the same thing will be wrong with all of them that were made at the same and time. And I bought all these at the same exact time, and they were all the same yeah. exact brand. It doesn't okay. happen as often as it used to years ago, but it still it still does. Yeah, sometimes. but anyway, so yeah. I mean, uh, believe it or not, I put uh, other brands in there and things that weren't even enterprise drives, and they're working flawlessly. Yeah, I don't think that these things require that. I know the Drobo doesn't require that they be the same brand, although it's better if they are. Why? And and same Why? size. Why a hard drive is a hard drive. Yeah, but uh, I I think that they they mount uh, better. Uh, they, what I read is that if they're all the same, it's better, but it's not mm -hmm. necessary that right. they be the same brand or the same size. Where is Ray going? Uh, I don't know. He muted himself, and uh, Ray, you're muted. And I'm you're outside. In the, uh, I'm walking the dog. Uh, uh, sorry, you're walking the dog. I'll give you some light. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. There. Yeah. There All right. It. Okay. Okay. I just wondered, wondered what happened to you. All of a sudden, it was here. dark. So and, uh, when he takes a, a dog. when he takes a poop, let us watch. Okay. Yeah. 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 My dog. Uh, <laughs> when we walk her. Take a leak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we walk my dog, because she has the uh, the uh, the stitches, uh, you know, she's got like a five inch uh, incision in her belly, uh, and so we have to put it. We put her in a little pram carriage that we have, and roll her down to the park, and then we put her on, on the grass so that uh, she doesn't have to walk that much. But uh, uh, yeah. she's she's doing pretty well right now. Uh, recovering from the operation, it's the cancer that's going to, uh, in the next month or two, that uh, is going to be the issue. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you never know. Sometimes he's, like, uh, my, my brother had a dog that was supposed to die just quickly, and he lived, like, two or three years. So well, well, That would be nice. Did you get the dog from Amazon? Yeah, yeah, oh. it's an Amazon Because I'm an expert <laughs> at this now. But all I'm saying <laughs> is, is that I found the customer service at these companies has gotten really shitty. I mean, oh, yeah. really Amazon, shitty. Sure. And uh, I did finally, the other day, who was I talking to? I can't remember. Oh, it was oh, somebody at American Express. And I wanted to get my rewards points reversed, okay? So I call, and it's this woman, and she got a southern accent, and she helps me with everything, and I think she reversed my rewards points within seconds. I mean, she said, let me do that for you. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Done. And I went, you know, I've been dealing with hell all week. I've been talking to the Philippines, to Amazon. I've been talking to India for Seagate. Or no, Mexico for Seagate. I said, it's been a living hell. It's nice. Where are you located? She says, South Carolina. I said, <laughs> oh, 
God, what a fucking pleasure, I said. <laughs> and she was a pleasure to deal with. And that's what I'm saying. If you're a company, you want that customer support to be good and you want because they're the face of your company to most people you know they're the person with your company they have to deal with and when they hear somebody this woman i had on from for amazon in uh uh in uh, the philippines was horrible she couldn't she would ask me what my name was and i would spell it and then she'd spell it uh. back to me and spell it all wrong you know what i would do Four i just put my girlfriend on and let him talk in tagalog <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I'm saying, though, that what was happening is she wasn't like everything I would tell her. My phone number, she would get it oh. wrong. I'd have her repeat it back to me, and the numbers were all reversed. And I'm going, <laughs> yeah, I, I, and then the next, then I didn't hear anything. She said, you'll be getting an email from us on this. And I never got the email, so when I called, I finally got somebody who could speak English. And I said, this person was supposed to send me an email. I think maybe this was Seagate. I can't now, remember. And the, you, you never did. He said, oh, well, we have it down here as Alex at Gabnet, uh, at Gabnay.com. Oh, can you, you know imagine that it, it, Alex when you, when you spell with, your name and they say A is in Apple, yeah, B is yeah. in boy? Uh, yeah. Alex, yeah. Fucking thing right Alex <laughs> doesn't have an accent. Alex is a professional voice and and sounds fantastic can you imagine if the woman in the philippines was dealing with tony and the way tony talks from queens you know <laughs> uh, you know could you could you imagine you the two of them trying to converse with one another rather than okay. a, than alex who pronounces everything uh yeah, yeah. You know, phonetically correct you know anyway so anyway enough of the tech talk but uh, this isn't tech talk it's just that i just wish that these companies would realize that the main face of their company to most people is when they have to call customer support and that that customer support should be good and fast and accurate and get the stuff done did ray have his hand up or was no 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 i was i was i was wanted to see if my mic was on oh yeah i i'm having a problem at the store with uh phone calls i'm getting all these robo calls uh yeah. like um for Medicare and, uh, you know, putting solar on your house and, and things like that. I am getting so many that I'm almost to the point where I'm not going to answer the phone anymore. If a customer calls, leave me a message. You know, there's just too much spam out there. Robo killers. Uh, yeah, you've got that it. problem. But what the real problem is, is that uh, a lot of these people are doing things highly illegal. I mean, they're saying we're from we're from Social Security. Right. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. That's that's uh, that that's they don't call. That's illegal. That's against but the law. But they're probably from China, so it doesn't matter. You know. Yeah. yeah. Or the Ukraine. Yeah, I, I should be in jail right Ukraine, now. Yeah. I, I've gone to jail about seven times in the last two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fake yeah, face. I, I, I'm a wanted criminal in about four different states right now. Fake keeps well, saying. I'll tell you where you Social also. Social Security's calling me. I'm I'm in trouble. Where you also <laughs> have your problem, folks out there, and you know it, is is what is Facebook doing about people who are trolling, you know, and saying click here if you want. I I just found a great video with you in it. Click here, and oh, you yeah. click oh, yeah, there, yeah. and all of a sudden, there go the lights. Again. It's an ad. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's an ad. No, right? It's not an ad. That's the way they f they get a virus into your computer. Wow. And Facebook doesn't I never that, open so. and like when you mail me stuff, half the time I don't open it. The reason I don't open it is I don't know you sent it to me. Oh, I, I have had people I, have, I, sent it to you. I have had people send me stuff and I wrote them and said, "Did you send me something?" and they went, "No." Oh, well, next time I'll put something and yet, in the what is captions. Well, what does Facebook do about this? Something. Nothing. <laughs> Right. They mm -hmm. do nothing about it. Well, what's this deal? They want Facebook to sell off in Instagram and uh, what's up? Uh, what's WhatsApp? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up? I like what's up better. <laughs> what's up? Well, I mean, this is not uncommon. A few years ago, I think, didn't they try to get Microsoft to divest, divest themselves oh. of certain yeah. products? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were. Oh, huge yeah. lawsuits. Like 20 years ago. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. They were trying to get Microsoft to get rid of everything. 
Yeah. Except the Xbox. I well, think. what happens yeah. is you get companies and they they go into the business as a small little company as Microsoft did, and one day they're a, a mega company. And they, they don't realize how big they've gotten because they're still doing business the same way they did it when they were a small company. And they didn't realize until the government came along and said antitrust that they had new responsibilities. So I don't blame companies when they suddenly one day realize that they're not, you know, they're not that. Do you know, uh, do you know the business that I do business with that is the most professional is uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, they own uh, a carpet company called Shaw Industries. And since they bought them, uh, they are fabulous. Well, Berkshire Hathaway problem, is, is, what's his name? Is, is, is Warren, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. Yeah. If you have a problem, boom, it's taken care of. They don't ask questions. They fix it, and then they'll investigate and say, oh, well, you know, if it wasn't their problem, we'll talk about it. But they take care of it immediately so that you have the best customer service you can have with your customers. Uh, you know, I, I've, I had a situation the other day where I ordered four boxes of shit for a bathroom. One of the boxes was... I don't have correct. to order four boxes of shit for the bathroom. Oh, I, yeah, I, did for I, I, I take and do enough of it myself that I don't have to I buy shit I can send you for some it. shit. The yeah. shit that was in one of the boxes <laughs> was the wrong color, but it was labeled the right label. They wanted us to send it back before they would send us another one. I said, look, I got to get this job done. The film company's coming in to photograph the place for sale. Just send me a box overnight, and I'll deal with it. They wouldn't send me the box, even though I have open credit with them, and you know they could charge me. They wouldn't send it until I proved that the other box was wrong. You know who's who still is very good once you're getting past the uh, colleague speaking uh, uh, operator yeah. is is Amazon. For instance, when I said this this board doesn't appear to be working in my computer, they immediately sent one before I ever sent the other one back. And uh, in the case of the of the hard drives, when I went down to U, the UPS store, which is right down on the corner, and I gave them the box with the two hard drives in it, as soon as they scanned it, I got back and there was a thing saying your $156 has been returned to your account. Well, I know you don't like Adorama, but they treat me the way Amazon used to treat you. Uh, if I have a problem with anything from Adorama, boom, it's taken care yeah, of. Yeah, but Adorama is a small company. Yeah, they're in New York. They're down the street. Yeah, they're a small company by comparison to Amazon. Yeah. Amazon yeah. has gotten so big. Uh, it used to be uh, that you could just, there was a number you could call. There was a thing where you went online and you said, here's you my clicked problem. On it. And you clicked Return. on it and said, call me. They don't even have that anymore. You used to be able to click on it, say, I want to return it. Get, the drop-down box had the reason. You went down to the UPS store. You gave it to them. The label was there. Boom. And it, it went back, and you had your money immediately. Uh, they don't no have more. that anymore? Uh, it's, oh it's in there, but you got to find it. Oh, it's, yeah. you got to fish for it. It's, it's in there. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. But I haven't had to return anything to Amazon in a while. Yeah. Well, I'm through. I think you have to go into your order history. I decided. Like, yeah, I, just, dig it out. I decided with this graphics board, yeah. if it didn't work, I was going to keep it. I didn't want to keep returning them. But luckily, the thing just boom fires right up. The only difference is, is that if you don't have a board that has been flashed by uh, Am by uh, 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 by Apple. What, what's the guy's name Apple. that just committed suicide in New York? The uh, that uh, the the. Uh, uh, pedophile Epstein what would, Epstein. Oh, Epstein so is, you got to be flashed by Epstein no 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 but <laughs> it, 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 because, uh, because it isn't a official uh, Apple card and the yeah. iOS hasn't been flashed in there it it, it it boots up to a black screen so you don't mm -hmm. know what's happening before you'd see a bar going across this doesn't have the bar, but once it comes on, it comes on. It it's not, hasn't failed to not come on. Do the instructions say, "Hey, wait a while after you boot it to see what's you know"? No, for it to no but if not? you read the stuff online, it tells you that's uh, what happens. You just don't see anything for a while. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. so you were aware of that. I mean, I oh I yeah, I was aware. I, I, I was aware of that, 
But when I had those old cards, they sat in there for a half hour and nothing booted up. This boots up in about three minutes, four minutes. Somewhere. So therefore, the old cards were bad. It wasn't that they were bad. They just didn't work with this system. Well, that's system. bad. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> well, they were good for something. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so I... Door stops. Know. Frisbees. So anyway, uh, 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 all that's happening with with uh, Trump and so on. I mean, uh, for instance, Ray, you yes. want you want to see him impeached? Do you think that's a useless exercise? What did you say? I'm sorry. Do you want to see him? Uh, uh, Trump. Oh, oh man, oh, oh, God, I don't know. You know, I mean, morally, like, here's the thing with me. I know every president does shit I don't like. I don't like some of the stuff Obama did, like bombing, you know, people and killing kids and stuff. It was horrible. What bugs me is he 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 he, he is dividing this country mm -hmm. on purpose, mm -hmm. and he's making us look terrible in, in the eyes of the rest of the world, which I think is more dangerous than everything else. Um, so I guess on a moral stance, I'd like to see him be impeached to show that we we don't want to put up with a president who does that kind of thing. But on the other hand, he may use it to uh, garner votes, if, especially if he can get sympathy from all the Republicans. What do you think, Kevin? I don't know. I think, I think it might be too late. I think if we did it uh, a year ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to, if I knew more about the fact that he's on the downhill and we could almost ensure that he'd be knocked out in the election, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. But I'm not so sure about that. Well, if he gets reelected, there's plenty of time to, uh, to impeach him. Uh, yeah, then you could go after him again. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's what happened with together. Nixon. Because it all Nixon's thing started, I believe, if I remember right, I was just a kid, but it started just before he was reelected, but it was kind of like... Uh, just like a story. Well, it was a break in. It, it, at, it was the break in at the Democratic Committee at the Watergate. But yeah, he I, wasn't I just, linked to it yet. And then, it, and then, and then, in his second term, he was. Uh, I just, he I wasn't. Mean, he wasn't I'm still worried about the, the whole he, Democrat. He wasn't, he wasn't impeached, Phil, but he, he left resigned. office. He left office because they told him, "If you don't leave office, we will impeach you." And the, exactly. Repu the, and Republic the Republicans uh, were behind him leaving office. Yes. Uh, yeah. It right. was a majority of Republicans read by, uh, led by Barry Goldwater. Yeah. Yeah. And it was that's what's going to be interesting to see how, how, how many of the Republicans end up jumping off this bandwagon that they're on. And, and if that happens, you know, because the whole thing could backfire on the Democrats. Big Did you hear Tulsi Gra Gabbard's uh, uh, interview on uh, on uh, what and when she was asked about impeachment? No, and she she actually said, "I am not with Pelosi on this," and she is uh, bucking the trend and says that she does not want to see impeachment. She would rather have the people well, vote to in begin with. To begin with, make the uh, decision. Uh, is Pelosi for impeachment? And now she is. Yeah, no, she, she is. Yeah. I don't think she is. Yeah. She didn't say that. Well, she said. She, yes, she did. No, she, she yeah. said she, said, she yeah. was for investigating was the possibilities investigating. of right. impeachment. Yeah. And they said if there's nothing in the transcript, there's plenty of other stuff for us to do it on. That's what Pelosi said. Well, yeah, I, they, I'm pretty sure she turned the corner. She At turned least, the yeah, corner in that did. she allowed them to go ahead and investigate the possibility. They were already doing that. Uh, this is uh, another that, step beyond that, I think. Yeah. Well, no, not really. This is more oh, no. showmanship. It's more oh, okay. showmanship because Nadler already made that announcement. And Pelosi, at, uh, the only difference is Pelosi wasn't uh, in agreement with Nadler on that issue, but now she is. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I think the whole thing is a big charade, honest. Like, I, I agree with you, Phil. I, I mean, for me, it's just... Trump, to me, is just degrading the office and, and dividing the country, and I think we just need to get him out because of that. But well, don't you that, see well, the but Dems, you're going to have you, you're going to have a chance. No, I don't. But but yes, I do but see Ray, the Dems. They're yeah, inept. Ray, do. Ray, They're inept. Ray, Ray, yeah. we're a little more than a year away from the actual election. I know. We will have the opportunity to throw him out of office then. You know. Yeah, I agree. And, yeah, you're right. You know, and uh, I mean, if. Uh, 
if we're afraid of something, I suppose we want to go after him now. But I don't yeah. think we should feel afraid of it. I think that the possibility is that he can be beaten if you get the right candidate. Okay. You don't have the right candidate. I don't know that that's, we don't have the problem. I don't know that we don't have the but right candidate. I think I think Joe Biden is is toast. Joe Bi Joe Biden isn't toast, but Joe Biden isn't the nominee. No. I think You know what I bothers me though is Trump did lose by 3 million votes. Uh, yeah, and but so we and and the, and the, those the electoral college is skewed in favor of the Republicans. So it could happen again. It could happen again. He could lose by three million votes again and still win. Uh, yeah, uh, or he could lose by three million votes and lose. I mean, it depends yeah. on how the re Democrats play their ground game. You know, right. the biggest problem that that Hillary Clinton had was she didn't they didn't play a good ground game. And and the uh, uh, and the Republicans did, I think yeah, this time. And this could affect the ground game. Hillary this could Clinton, affect the ground game exactly. Hillary Clinton thought that she was destined to be the next president. The uh, she was listening to the polls, and she said, and everyone said right up until the night of the election that Trump had no chance of getting two seven. Uh, no, she knew that she was going to lose. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Why did Trump she? Thought he was going to why lose. ahead of time did she cancel the fireworks that were supposed to take place? Uh, if she I, didn't feel she was going to lose. Well, when once well, things started coming no, in, no, no, when they were when? canceled a day beforehand. Huh. Yeah. They knew they were going to lose because they saw they saw that yes, the poll said she was going to win because. Technically, she was the winner. I mean, if you were going, just let me finish, uh, if you were going purely by the, 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 the uh, popular vote. But they weren't taking into consideration the Electoral College. And they weren't factoring that in, the pollsters, and saying, okay, yeah, she's going to win popular vote, but she's not going to win electoral vote. They didn't take that into consideration. And that's where they were wrong. They were right. She was the winner, if you're going to talk about popular vote. Okay. Popular vote doesn't win. I don't uh, care it, what you're saying, Phil. I'm saying that's the, I know reason, that. that's the reason why the pollsters were saying that she was going, you know, she, she was going to be the winner. It's because they were looking at the popular vote. They weren't looking at the electoral vote and how that could play itself out. But you know when they have those guys on TV that are pressing the uh, the the green the black screen you know the screen and they're saying okay this scenario uh, gets them uh, 240 uh, electoral college votes mm -hmm. this one gets them 220 but there was no path to 270 prior to about 11 o'clock uh, the night of the election. Uh, I I was told a story by Pence's brother-in-laws. Uh, 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 he, the brother-in-law is the guy I know, and he, he said. By the, by the way, 11, you're frozen. Oh, it wasn't until eleven o'clock that night uh, that they found out that they were going to win. You know, that. Uh, well, yeah. and nobody knew who was going to win at that point. I mean, uh, I assume you know the the assumptions by the pollsters were correct. Okay, plain and simple. Um, uh, there was only one of them, Quinnipiac, uh, that I think uh, had the uh, are, had Trump have ahead. Have you clicked yourself back on? I did. Uh, you know, let me do it uh, again. There, uh, yeah, All right. Like, Is that better? No, you're not coming no? on. No. You're, you're, right. you're at the end of the day, the, the Democrats better figure out what they're going to do before the end of the year and get it over with and then just get back to doing their campaign and get it over with. Yeah. Tonight. Hey, there's our you know. theme song, by the way. We we don't have a picture of uh, Phil. Who knows why? You know, go figure, Phil. Trump, Trump. I see Phil. Oh, there you go. You're back again right. to say good. Yeah, it took like four clicks to, to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, uh, small small group, but a mighty one. Phil Meyer, thank you so much. Uh, Tony, welcome. thank you for calling. Uh, yes, uh, Ray, nice to see you. You're in the dark, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Does your dog taking a dump yet? 
politically too. No, not yet. Not yet. No, okay. <laughs> yes, politically, I'm very much in the dark. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and 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 Kevin, of course, thank you so much for calling, as well. I think that it would be nice if all of you gave a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you. Okay, there we go. Okay, all righty. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Let me. I've, I've changed where I put my various things. There we go. I just canceled my uh, my um, uh, Skype. So the next program uh, can do it right after me. That would be uh, Jack Bishop. He has a show called The Intersection, which is uh, very good, and you should give it a call. It's next over most of the same gap net. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, at uh, right after uh, Damian Chaplin does the exchange, uh, he will be here uh, until uh, 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, I return to these very self-same cabinet airwaves. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Bye-bye, everybody.